Naidu, Prajna, okay, Dr. <laughs> Sunil, next, Sudha, good stuff, good stuff, Kush, Kunal, okay, Nagmani, Narendar, Shivam, okay, great. We have the final 15 minutes for the call. Patak se ek cheez karte hai. Let's deploy this on AWS. Brush up karo guys abhi. Let's think. AWS ka deployment. What is the process? Start thinking. Okay. Guys, open up a notepad at your side. We are talking. This is going to be a day to day activity. If you are not practicing it, you will never remember it. It's like that. And even if, let's say, you remembered it, but when you speak it during interview, it will look like you are not hands on. The way you will answer, it will look broken. It will look like you're trying to memorize something and speaking. And interviewers are very smart people. They are intelligent people. They have been there giving interviews. They have taken interviews. They have worked with, will be taking your interview. If you have not done hands on, your words will actually say, no, I don't know it. Even though the answers are right, but the way you say. So please practice. Open up a notepad. Open up a notepad. Now our next actions are, let's start writing solutions. Our next fifth step is, so we did unit testing as the fourth item for today. And the last item is AWS deployment and testing on the dev environment. OK? Chalo. We have already seen it multiple number of times now. How exactly we need to do? Just write it down. What do you think should be the first step? Just write it down. No need to tell to anybody. Open up your notepad. Now, what next step I should do? Step number one. Just write it down. Currently, you know what we have done, what is there in our code. Now we need to go to AWS. First step, Karega. This thing, just write. Mm -hmm. How many of you have written the first step? Just give a thumbs up. It might be right, it might be wrong, but think, write something. Okay, Sunil has written the first step. Shiva, Prajna. Kuch to likho, guys. Let your brain work. Kuch to karenge, kuch na kuch ho jayega. Okay, nice. Kishan, Nagmani. Okay, fine. Dego. Logically speaking, the first step is how does AWS thing happen? Right now, the logical hona chahiye. Your approach should be logical. Steps ka order upar niche, it's fine. But approach should be logical. From local machine, your code is in your local machine right now. We need to take this code, move this code into AWS, restart the service there, and test it. This is what is the journey, right? So step number one, we need to build an archive, which we will deploy it on AWS. Abhi, for doing that, if any sub steps are required, maybe we can write that. But our main, logically, if you think, main thing is we need to bundle the current code that we have written to Deploy it on AWS. So our first primary major step is okay, build dot jar file for deploying on AWS. That's the logical first step. Maybe before that it could be something. Now, guys, if you have written this or somewhat similar here, just write it down what command you should run in order to build this. Just write it down at your side. Dev environment, ke liye, something else happens. OK, Sunil has written it. Very good. Tech, phone, limb, done. Nagmani done. Kishan done. Hands on row. Mastery ho jayegi. And this gives a lot of comfort. OK, very good. Many people have written it. Fine. So basically, Maven, clean, package, package bundles it, iPhone P profile, dev. Dev okay, now a few things. When you use this hyphen dev, it uses for application hyphen dev dot properties. That actually means we need to now check it. Okay, did we make any changes in the applications slash local properties? This is how deployment wise, you should always be careful. Because local code will not run there. So if you have made modifications to local, you need to really check whether any modifications to dev is required. How do you check this? Go to 
source tree. That is where you need to work with these tools. We need to work with the tools. OK, where are we modifying all this code? The It is HMAC SHA256 properties. Properties, properties. This one. Here is the code. OK, we need to make sure that we are pointing to the right code in source tree. Go in source tree. SMAC, uh, okay, 256. We are already there. Let's go here. A lot of modifications are there, and the tool is telling that thing to us. Hmm. Right now, we are more interested in application local. What did we modify here? We have changed the password. Okay. So we changed the password. So we need to make this password even apply to the dev. Now you have to make a decision okay, with the team okay, on the dev environment. Are we going to continue with the same or are we going to modify it here? Okay. And accordingly, you have to decide then in such case. So yeah, in our case, for our testing, we want to keep it same. So let's go it here. Guys, be along. Think. Everything is a step-by-step -step thing. So this is how you always see before deployment, any property file, is it compatible? Otherwise, after deployment, you will realize, Are, now I have to make this. Why is it not working? Time waste will happen. So always make a nice approach. Fine, let me go here. Control Shift R, local. We modified this signature. Let's go to ooh, application dev of this project. Be careful which you're opening. We place it here. Save property file is saved. So now that means there is a sub step required here. Dev name property file. Now we can build it. That's it. Rest of the Java code has to be same wherever it runs. Only configuration data changes. The same source code runs everywhere, right? Code me modifications mat karo. That that is a horrible way of coding. Same bundle should be deployed every place else. Okay, fine. Please always build the code in that manner. Okay, don't develop hacks in the code. Okay, fine. Now let's build this. Right click, run as, even build, clean, package, hyphen profile, dev, run. Let's see how it goes. So this is going to build the archive at our side. Okay. Now, we need to deploy this on AWS. OK? OK. First thing what I will do is you you fill it up with what command we will be doing. OK? Now, sec, uh, next major part is deploying on AWS. Here, what I want to do is first I will connect to AWS machine to check if instance is up and some other things. So I will first connect to AWS machine, log in there and see. Now write down what should be my next steps if I want to connect from my local machine to AWS. Think step one, step two, step three, like though. But this is a problem statement. If I want to connect to my AWS machine, what next steps I should be doing? Think about it for a moment. Write it granularly. K okay, first verify at this place, then use this tool then use this command and then go there think think in details get concrete talk like code talk like the way you will execute logically okay take take a couple of minutes it's a revision it's a revision but the point is those who are hands on for them this will be a piece of cake but those who have not even worked they attended only one that session there they got it now Blank. right? You you want to crack an interview, right? This has to be a daily practice. We did it already multiple times. At least three, four times we have already completed, but practice. Once you are done, give a quick thumbs up. Write down, but clearly. Kya karna padega? Amarinder is done. Very good. Fast. Bharat done. Shubham done. Nice. Tech phone. Sushma. Shubham. Good. Okay. Swap. Sunil. Good. 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 Okay. Narendra. Kishan. Azad, 
nice now next let's go let's break it down okay connect to aws machine okay meanwhile i was eating something uh, this is like healthy grains okay aise kha ke don't think ke toh sirf kya kha raha hai okay so fine connect to aws machine these are our next steps first in order to connect to the machine we need to just think logically we need to see what is machine ip is the machine up and running in aws this is the first step basically logically speaking without this whatever you do is not going to work right so we need to first see whether these two things are properly intact okay now i'm going to the aws let me check this out reload i'm on ec2 section i'm on ec2 section ec2 instances yes the machine is running i click on this okay there is this public ip using public ip we connect so i'm just mentioning it okay so these two things are there public ip we got is the machine up and running in aws okay fine yes it is up and running so first step is done now step number 2 you might have written already some steps once the machine is up and running we need to connect to this machine that means mobax term kind of tool will be required if you are in ubuntu windows direct terminal will ubuntu and mac direct terminal will work if you are in windows you will need to use tools like mobax term uh I don't know with Putty maybe SCP is possible or not. I'm not really aware because I used it in my college time. But in IT, I'm just using tools like Mobax Term itself. Okay, Mobax Term, whatever the tool. So we will use this tool and do command SSH into this AWS machine. You know SSH करते टाइम पे we need to really have the key security key so that kind of ssh command is required so we will need that key and then we will connect to that ip the machine and uh, yeah that's it basically these two things required the another checkpoint that we need to think is whether 22 port is enabled in the security groups of aws and by default it is there right so just just few check points so we need to make sure we have the key to connect the port is available and accessible and we have the ssh command to connect it so we need to run this thing okay now let me see i have already put in the basic commands here the ip that we copied right now let me just quickly make it available here scp ssh let me replace these ips right okay so first we will be doing this ssh ssh hyphen i it specifies ki where is your security key okay next which machine you want to connect the machine will always be username at the rate ip let's go copy go here okay open paste enter nice we are connected okay so we are on the machine pwd okay nice we are on the machine so this is what it is that was the second uh, task deploying on aws first step is connect to aws machine which is simply doing these two operations okay now the second question for you guys team okay i want to see whether payment validation service is up and running check whether payment validation service is up and running think through 
what am I supposed to do for this now? On the command, what am I supposed to do now? Check whether payment validation service is up and running. Think, take a minute, write down your answer. Do it, guys. Don't just listen and don't just observe. You will forget anyways. Put some pressure on your brain to memorize things, to think through logically. That's how you will master the things. Okay. Think. Okay, Sai Kumar says done. Shivam is done. Nice. We want to check whether it is up and running. Nagmani is done. And guys, make it hands on. It should not be like question and answer. It should be like, Are, aise kar lenge ho <laughs> right? it should be that spontaneous. Okay, few members are done. Take a few more seconds. Rest of the members join the party. Okay, tech phone is done. Think, think. Atul is done. Okay. Okay, Sushma so done, Bharat done. TK Chalo, very good. Now let's move forward. Narendra done as well. Okay, Pavitra also in. Okay, very good. Hey, go now. Simple stuff. There is a command. Those who are not able to answer this, remember the statements now. Plant it in your mind. Basically, every service runs like a process. Even if you don't know it, you should think logical. And basics of OS, basis of this uh, entire IT related world, software, how it works. Every software runs as a process. Every process has a process ID. Whether it is Windows machine, Linux machine, everything is running as a process. It has a process ID. When you open task manager, you see that process. You need to find, OK, I am running a Java process, which is payment validation service. Somehow, how to find that Java process in Linux? Logically, if you ask chat GPT, okay, how to find payment validation services up and running, chat GPT will say, what are you doing? He doesn't know payment validation services. Right? You have to give him a context. I have written a Spring Boot Java application named payment validation service. I am deploying it on AWS. I need to see whether it is up and running. Then you give the right context, then it will tell you what to do. Feed the right things. Then only it will give you the right outputs. But yes, it's possible. There is a command simple ps hyphen ef. It tells about all the processes. EF formats those list of processes in some order. And on top of that, you just filter grep Java, like all the Java processes which are up and running in the system. You can check it with this command. Okay, so now fine. Let's run this thing out. So first I will convert to a sudo user. Next, ps hyphen ef get java. So yes, currently that service is not up and running. Okay. So if the service is running, it would have shown you payment validation service, something, something, but it is not up and running. So we can be confident it's not there. Okay. Now the next step is chalo, come back to notepads. Once this is done. So we ran this command and then you need to know, you need to study the output and then know that, oh, okay, so my service is not running. <laughs> so you should be able to see the output and make decisions. Okay, okay, it is not up and running. Because if it is up and running and then you rerun it again, you will get port already existing, your application. Like, be good in debugging. Think why it is happening, why it is not happening. Where are the logs coming? Where do you hunt the solution? You need to really get emerged in the process of building application. It doesn't work. Emerge in the flow. Think. Break it down. Crack it down portion by portion. That's how so in some interviews we are given instructions by our senior managers to focus on debugging skills of the person. Given a problem, can he really troubleshoot? These kind of requirements were given to us. In my beginning days, while I was new into this interview related panel. Okay, so guys, focus, think. We need people who can think and solve problems. Okay, fine. Next command. Next step is 
check whether this service is up and running. Okay, fine. This is what it is. Connect हो गया. Check is done. First thing is we need to deploy. As part of this PWS command, we have already built it. Our major next thing is deploy the locally generated jar file into AWS machine. Write down what am I supposed to do next? Think. Think. क्या करना पड़ेगा? File is in my local. Which command? What steps? Write it down. Step by step, what will you? The way you will do it, like that. Write it down. Don't skip it. क्या हाँ? Don't keep it in the mind. Put it on paper. Step one. Even if it is launch Mobaxstrom. Step number one is that. Step number two. Go to which folder path? Step number two. Step number three. Which command to be used to copy it to the remote destination? Get it granular. The way you will act like that. Define it. This will make you good in documentation. Sometimes your features you would have to document it in your project. That's how step by step you would have to write it. You launch Mobaxstrom. Go to this folder. Run this command. This is what uh, practically things will happen. Okay. Take a minute. क्या करना पड़ेगा? Write it down step by step. So okay, Sai Kumar is done. And guys, if you are not able to answer all this, it means more hard work is required at your side. नहीं तो क्या ही है गैस इंटर्नशिप डन नॉलेज स्टिल नॉट देयर अप तू द मार्क इट डजन्ट मेक सेंस ओके सो इंटर्नशिप प्रोजेक्ट इज अ रिस्पांसिबिलिटी व्हेन यू से आई हैव डन देन यू आर सपोज्ड तू नो गैस डू यू रियली नो दिस थिंग कि देर आर मेनी कंपनीज पीपल जूनियर्स जॉइन फॉर इंटर्नशिप एंड दे आर नॉट इव like and just time passes by and they are not even involved in project you are getting this opportunity to really grasp so many things practice for that otherwise it will be like okay just like the people you got some internship letter but knowledge wise nothing is exposed and like that is done that's how it will end if you don't practice at your side to so work for it it will become good okay guys once you are done give a thumbs up what steps to deploy the locally generated jar file into aws Yash is done. Narendra is done. Sunil done. Good. Shivam, Sunil, Kishan, awesome. Ramya, Azad, Avinash. Okay. Now let's let's do a quick poll. How many of you are actually doing this? A poll कर दे. Are you really writing or not? Be honest. देखते हैं. देखते हैं क्या चल रहा है. Okay. Because our experience here is not good, right? <laughs> काफी सारे लोग तो करते ही नहीं है सो दैट्स नॉट गुड ओके हाउ मेनी आर एक्चुअली ट्राइंग टू राइट से यस और नो इफ यू आर लाइक नॉट रिस्पॉन्डिंग दैट मींस इट्स अ नो लेट्स चेक इट आउट कि कितने लोग एक्चुअली ट्राई भी कर रहे हैं टू रियली डू इट ओके लॉन्च जस्ट मार्क इट यस और नो Okay, nice, awesome. Bara lo, era. Everybody is going for yes. Now that is good. Zero no. Fifteen people, sixteen people, all yes. Now that is good. That's good stuff. Okay, taking responsibility. Twenty one. Nice, nice. Okay, so the group is all geared up. Very good, very good. This is how you will remember because you are doing things at your side. And then interview me, you will be like, "Hi, 